initiative. Deceptions and lies. Don't believe the board. Monarch has shed the yoke of its corporate overlords and now thrives. They claim this place to be uninhabitable, but philosophism lives on. We fight from the shadow of your... Sorry for the interruption there. Our relay terminal accidentally included a scene from an upcoming serial. Our regularly scheduled broadcast will be with you again shortly. This story brought to you by Halcyon News. All the news that's fit to broadcast. How do you do? Huh. How might I assist you? Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. Kind and efficient. Can't say I disapprove. Although, seeing as this woman isn't a member of our crew, it'd be nice if the price weren't quite so high. I think you may have underestimated the size of Miss Doyle's debt. If you'll look over this itemized bill... I am extremely anguished, Captain. Please respect my feelings in this difficult time. I doubt Mr. Bedford's ever felt real pain. We could introduce him to the sort of suffering that actually constitutes extreme anguish. For the good of his understanding, of course. Be careful you don't irritate my guards, Vicar. You might not like their rather narrow understanding of what constitutes excessive force. I'm glad we could come to an accommodation. You may inform Miss Doyle that our collections agent will be recalled. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? I could say it was good to see you, Ellie. At least you finally got your chance to square our debt. That ought to make you smile for once, huh? Nothing makes me happier than being even. Except being right. That's nice, too. Got word from Udom, from the hitman who trailed me the other night. Seems I'm in the clear, thanks to you squaring my debt. You sure saved my skin, stranger. All debts between me and Ellie are cleared. The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. If I'm being honest, and I prefer not to, I was about ready to pick up another contract anyway, and you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which tells me you're competent. But we can say I'm repaying the favor if you prefer that version. You won't be sorry, though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. Traveling in style, are we? I'll be sure to nab a cabin with a view. Dr. Fenhill, glad you opted to join us. It'll be good to have a Sawbones on the crew.
looks twice as hard for himself as he does for Ford. Prerogative of management. Still, there's a lot more corporate ships in the bay these days. Captain, can I get your temperature on something real quick? So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. But real sweet. Oh, law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kind of. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't. I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. Thanks, Captain. That makes me feel a touch better. I actually had another message from Jun Lei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna change that. Right now. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking. Isabel? Who's. Who's Isabel? They were. close, Captain. More than friends close. I don't know. June Lei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? Lost Hope? Drinking never solved nothing, Captain. I ain't been able to sleep for three nights now. I just want to unwind, just the tiniest bit. I'm full serious. Next time we're on the Groundbreaker, I aim to get a drink. If I got to, I'll do it on my lonesome. But I'd feel better if someone I trusted was there. Move along. So, how's 
this work? We interrupt you. Do we right? get a table? Stand in a corner? Sorry. Concerned citizens often ask why there aren't enough new faces in the Halcyon colony. We all want new neighbors from time to time. Our studies have shown that a controlled population is inversely proportional to consumer happiness. Fewer colonists means there's more paradise for the rest of us to enjoy. This is Halcyon News, reminding you that there's no I in news, no we in Halcyon, and no Mercury in Saltuna. Hey Ellie, having your usuals? Not today, I'm on the job. Never thought I'd see the day. A new face. What's your pleasure, stranger? Okay, so... What are we drinking? You're the expert. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. Oh, no, that's just... That's on account of my not being able to sleep lately. Makes my hands all twitchy, you know? I've just been lying awake, thinking about what June Lai said, and feeling my heart shake. Oh, beer. I guess, yeah, I can do that. Beer can be good, I bet. Bottoms up. Think of it like a fizzy tea that's gone a little off. Nah, this tastes like the underside of a boot. People drink that for fun? Oh, Captain, I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? You're funny. Yeah, I guess we're doing that, aren't we? Crewing together, seeing the stars. It's like something out of cereal. I like the ones with grand romances. And I think... I think I'm flubbing mine. I don't know what to do about... us. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think June Lay still has feelings for her? I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Come on, Captain! I'm here to drink! Okay, maybe you're right. I am a little woozy. Hydration, here I come. Aw, this was just about to get fun. Shush you. Oh, Captain. I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but I'm so scared. Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we, we get together and... She gets bored of me. Oh, there's nothing easy about... about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? What, just move on? Like, snapping your fingers? I don't know, maybe I got a weak heart. It all just seems... 
Impossible. Yeah. Yeah, I know you're right. I just wish it were that easy, is all. I'm not used to speaking free with folks. Back in Edgewater, there wasn't no one who wanted to know my mind. Excepting my dad. Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think... ungenerous thoughts. Yeah. I like the way you put that, like... It's okay to want to be better for her, and not impossible to try. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. Oh, gosh. I... I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? Okay. I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. This was fun. We should do it again after you send that message. Huh. All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. Rizzo's mock apple cider. Captain, I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun, and I tried some things I never would have otherwise. And I don't feel it today. I guess that water must have worked. I'm glad I had you looking out for me. I wouldn't mind having a drink again. Someday. In the distant future. Anyway. I messaged June Lay when we got back and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night, thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning, and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it, otherwise I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. Oh, she called mashed potatoes smashed potatoes, but I think maybe that's just what they call them on Groundbreaker. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. Oh, isn't she sweet? Like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal and... I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. Rizzo 
special vodka after taste the rainbow. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information needed to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Reward any planning to your local... Neighbor from above, what brings you to my little moonlight kingdom? Listen to the fire of those convictions. This one's hungry for justice. Alive or dead? Rare or medium? What's it gonna be? How do you want me cooked, bounty hunter? My flame? Shit. Little flick here got me started on the pyro path. Fine. He's yours. Give him a good home. Work smarter, not harder. Don't worry, Mr. McRed. We'll treat Mr. Flick extra nice on account of he's your friend. I'll miss my baby Pyro, but it beats losing my head. This court needs its king, and I'm one of a kind. Keen eyes you got there. Zanita gave me this lighter. We had a carnal understanding few years back, and she wanted me to have something to remember her by. How goes the hunt? I've been ruminating on it, and I decided, if you ain't killed McRed yet, I want you to hurt him a little before you do. Nothing excessive, mind you, but the scoundrel deserves a light beating at least before he kicks off. Here's the bounty payout. Nice work down there. With any luck, we can hire more sharp-eyed bounty hunters like you in the future. Shall I congratulate myself, or would you like to do the honors? Can you hear me? 
Does this work? Oh, damn it! Blast, that's loud! I'm just securing my ongoing experiments and securing myself. Mind the mess. Uh, I haven't had a visitor since... Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. change color. Potential side effect of the revival process. Very rare, but uh, you never know. Right. Welcome to my little uh, habitation, such as it is. I've got uh, caffeinoids, cysty bits, if you're into that sort of thing. So, welcome. Make yourself at home. My secret hideout is your secret hideout. The one I gave you before your pod landed? Ruined, beyond repair. Impossible to find replacement parts. That's Halcyon manufacturing for you. Don't worry about it. I'm reasonably certain you're not going to spontaneously expire. No need to monitor your recovery. Not at all, my intrepid accomplice. I should thank you for tolerating my somewhat brusque manner. I only regret that I couldn't save more of your fellow settlers, what with being hunted by the board, and emptying my supply of necessary chemicals. Of course. What's on your mind? Oh, it's not you. I uh, do experiments in that room. Some of them get quite scientific. The unexpected is to be treasured but uh, from a safe distance. Regardless, it's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet paper. Absolutely. Let's talk. No, and I've been trying very hard to avoid making eye contact. Ah, the wanted criminal himself. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Not another word. I don't want to know your name. I don't want to know who you are. Let's just enjoy our plausible deniability while it lasts, shall we? Why don't you just invite the entire colony to my secret, carefully concealed laboratory? It isn't as if I wanted privacy. Oh, fine. As long as you're vouching for their character and they aren't touching things. For what it's worth, I am pleased that you found a crew, such as they are. You're a talented scientist, after all. Our kind has always been incredibly popular. Yes, indeed. Well done. Also, you still haven't spontaneously liquefied, which pleases me immensely. Progress. Of course, I'll be here, as usual. 